My dad called and asked what I was up to, and I told him I was standing in the Teen Challenge thrift store looking at a gorgeous antique marble top dresser and wondering why its mirror was missing. I don't think he was expecting an answer that was quite that specific. I'm Michelle, this is my romantic tangle, and I got to go to the thrift store by myself. Well, with one of the boys, but I got to drive to the thrift store for the first time in at least a month and a half. If you know antiques and can tell me why that drawer is so shallow in the center, please let me know because I am curious. It has me very confused. I had an appointment in town and I made a list of all of the errands that should have been done in the past month and a half or two months that hadn't been done, and I spent the entire day doing things. This store had more dressers that should have had mirrors, but didn't. And it left me thoroughly confused. Also curious whether all of these came from the same person. Somebody donated a sewing machine collection. And I thought that that was the same as the sewing machine I brought home from our quilting group a few months ago. They have absolutely nothing in common with one another. But it is the same color as the one I picked up at an estate sale by a free by the side of the road sign a while back. So I guess that's close enough. Somebody must have donated all these sewing machines together because I don't think I've ever seen a sewing machine at this store before. And there were an amazing lot of them. This was the perfect day for thrifting and apparently the perfect store because I found so much amazing vintage stuff. This is the kind of typewriter I learned to type on in high school. They were old at that point, but it was still considered typing and not keyboarding. And I could do 110 words a minute on one of these babies. We were watching old TV the same night as I filmed this, and there was one of them on the episode of, I think it was Adam 12, we were watching. Lots of old, you wouldn't call these electronics, would you? I don't know why I am fascinated by film strip projectors. It's some nostalgia from early elementary school. One of these days I'm going to wind up with one, but then I'm going to have to start looking for old film strips and... Don't be surprised if it happens. I know I was looking for a slide carousel. I think people were putting floss bobbins in them. Not for that price though. And this, I have wanted a bed warmer since I was a little girl. I don't know if it was all of the made for TV movies that had haunted houses and witches and reproduction colonial stuff. But I've always wanted one, and it was only $1.49, and I'm going to hang it by my fireplace and probably not put plants in the planter part of it, because then it'll look a little less like a bed warmer. If I ever find a real one in my price range, hey, I'll upgrade. Look at this planter. Look specifically at the cover of the cookbook. I think that was all painted. I don't think that was decoupage fabric, although I could be wrong, and either way, I love it. I don't have a place for it. I left it there, but it just makes me kind of giddy and happy. And when I got home, I Googled the designer's name that is there on the back, Cheryl Gadow. She made all kinds of amazing planters and vases. And there was actually one with a group of children huddled with their backs facing out that I had in a thrift with me video years ago. So apparently I'm a fan of her work and now I'm going to be looking for more of it. And hopefully there's more of it out there. This caught my eye from four aisles over. Family feud fills me with all the nostalgia. When I was itty bitty, my mom took toll painting classes one evening a week and my dad and I would sit and we would watch Family Feud with Richard Dawson. These days my boys watch it with Steve Harvey and he is great, but I'd rather watch the old school episodes and I have found a few on 
YouTube. I'm curious how this is a two player game. How did the survey results work? Should have opened it up and read the instructions, but you know, you never think about that until you get home. If you had this game back in the day, would you please leave a comment and satisfy my curiosity? I almost bought it, but nobody in my household is going to sit down and play Family Feud with me, I don't think. Now watch one of them will see this video and go, oh yeah, mom, I would have done that. Maybe someday we'll find a cheap one in an estate sale. This is the shop that had all the milk glass in a video I did a while back. They still have all the milk glass. The pieces I was intrigued by are gone, but that's fine. I don't think they were particularly rare or exciting, and I really should have checked to see what color the tags were, because a little milk glass luncheon set might be nice for my tuna sandwich and snacks. This particular candy dish, the lid not only did not fit the base, it was a completely different pattern from the base. But maybe someone needs one or the other? We had fun thrifting. I got to visit quite a few shops, kind of at a dead run, but that's okay. I have enough footage for a second video, so maybe in a week and a half or two weeks that'll be up. It will be up. It's maybe that's the timing of it.